We're going to continue learning about space. Today, we're going to learn all about constellations. I have some fun videos for you to watch and a really fun constellation game for you to play if you'd like to. Those are just extra for fun if you want to. So today, we're going to start by reading The Big Dipper. I like to go outside at night. Everything is still and dark. At night, I can see the stars. Some nights, the stars are very bright. They look close, too. It seems that I can almost touch them. I know I cannot. They are too far away. My father and I look at the stars. We look at them in the summer and in the winter. They are not always the same. In the summer, these are some of the stars I see. Hmm. Turn and talk to your parent for just a minute. You can pause the video after I ask the questions. What does this illustration show? This illustration shows us that the star, what the stars look like in the summer. You can tell it's summertime by how she's dressed. Question number two. Would the stars shown here always look this way? Hmm. How do we know? Now, class, the author is giving us some helpful hints to tell us that stars change throughout the seasons. But if we go back to some of our prior reading, we know that the stars change because the earth is always spinning. And that changes the constellations too. All right, let's continue our reading. In winter, I see these stars. But there are some stars that I can see in summer and in winter. I can see the Big Dipper almost every night if the sky is clear. Hmm. Let's stop and think about what we've learned about stars so far. Take a few seconds and think about one fact you've learned about the stars and tell it to your parent. I know that we've learned stars look different in the summer and the winter, and some stars can be seen in both the summer and the winter. Let's continue on and see what else we can learn. Long ago, people drank water from the dippers. The dipper in the sky looks like a water dipper. It has a bent handle and it has a little bowl. There are three stars in the handle of the dipper, and there are four stars in the bowl. On these pages, the author uses the name the Big Dipper, but the author doesn't tell us exactly what a Big Dipper is. Using the words and illustrations from the pictures and from our text, what do you already know about the stars? And how could you describe what the Big Dipper is? The Big Dipper is a group of stars that looks like a water dipper. A water dipper has a handle and a bowl. I use a compass to help me find the dipper. A compass points north. I hold a compass in my hands. Then I look at the direction that the compass needle points. I can see the Big Dipper in the summer and in the winter. On summer nights, the Big Dipper looks like this. Now class, we learned about what a compass 
does when we are in social studies. A compass always points to magnetic north. That way, explorers back in ancient times could find their way. You can still use a compass today to help you find your way in the woods. On winter nights, it looks like this. On fall nights, the dipper looks like this. It is low in the sky. Sometimes it is so low, you may only be able to see part of it. Hmm, let's look at those illustrations and see how they look different between the winter and the fall. Turn and talk to your parent or your partner about how the Big Dipper looks different between these two seasons. Is there anything you notice that is the same about the Big Dipper in these two seasons? The Big Dipper always has seven stars, and it's always the same shape, but it points in different directions in different seasons. It points down in the summer and up in the winter. In the fall, it is low in the sky, and you may only be able to see part of it. Now, class, I'm going to pause here today, and I would love for you to write anything interesting you've learned about stars or constellations. Now we could go over to our other app and we could write. Let's go over here and let's see what we could write about the Big Dipper. So what are some facts that we learned? I learned the Big Dipper I'm going to let you finish that one. What did you learn about the Big Dipper today? Uh, you could write a, did you know? Did you know that the Big Dipper points in different directions in different seasons? Don't forget to put a question mark at the end of that. So, I'd like you, after we've finished reading this book, to write an I learned and a did you know about what we learned. If you want to come up with some really cool, interesting facts, you can watch the video on constellations that I have linked.